Welcome to part 70 uh, and we are going to uh, in this video we're going to tighten up the notification system by allowing users to clear the notifications. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so right now if you look at the notifications it's kind of hard to tell which is which. Uh, so we got three notifications here they're all kind of you know crumbled up together. So I think uh, a good thing to do is add a little bit of padding in between them. So uh, we got these uh, individual notifications. So we'll just um, add a padding Y of two in each of them. Like this and reload and you can see that now there's a little bit of um, a padding in between them. Uh, and maybe it can be a little bit more. Let's, let's try to make it into three. See what that looks like. And let's stick with two. And next is uh, when they hover over this, I want it to be like highlighted so that people know that they're hovering over the, the notification. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna make these notifications into call notification like this. And I'm going to have the style sheets here. I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna add a file called notification and I'll say notification, and I'm gonna add this to the application index. I'm gonna say notification like this, and I'll say um, on hover, I want the cursor to be a pointer, and I want the background color to be a gray of 200. Now, if I reload, it works perfectly. And for some reason, the third one, it's not really where, ah, it's because I never closed the div, like an idiot. No, I, not, I closed it, but I didn't put these uh, two lines inside the div. So if I do that, it should work a little bit better. And now, um, I also want this to have a little bit more padding. So maybe padding X of two, see what that looks like. And so let's just make um, all of this into padding um, and set this margin bottom one as well and set the horizontal padding like this. Okay, great. Okay, and the next thing is, is I want to be able to delete the notifications. So I want, I'm gonna put an X button here. So that will have to be a flex box. So I'm gonna go to the bootstrap documentation. I'm gonna say flex. And I want the, the positioning of the flex item to be uh, justify content between like this. So I'm gonna make all of these into little flex boxes like this. And I'm gonna put all of this initial thing that we had into one div. Like this. this see what that looks like and it still looks the same which is good and after this div I'm going to put an um, a next button similar to the one that we have in um, the model uh, so I'm gonna open up app views shared a sidebar and there's this model right here and we have this little close button. So I'm going to add that and see what this looks like. And it looks like the button is a little little too to the left. 
So I'm gonna get rid of this class here. I don't know why this is. Ah, I know why. Um, it's because I haven't put I haven't put the the justify between class into this flex box. So I'm gonna add that to each of them and uh, reload. And now it's over here. Uh, and I'm gonna leave it like that uh, for now. And I'm gonna add that to. I'm gonna add that button to um, all of these. And say like this and like that. And actually, instead of a button, I'm gonna make this into a link. I'm gonna say um, link to do, and I'm gonna add. Make this class into a button close. See what that looks like for the middle one or the last one. It's and this one is being rendered as uh, hmm. Link to uh, actually gonna get rid of this data BS model like this and link to if I look at the middle thing, it's right here. Ah, okay, link to root path. If I do root path, I bet it'll show up. Okay, it does show up. Um, and this, say display, what if the display is a block? Okay, that so that shows a little better. And I can click on this, right? So, okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna go to here, I'm gonna say display block. Um, and it looks like the classes can just be block. So I can add, uh, block here and um, link to pretty much nothing and go to the root path see what that looks like um, and it looks like the class is not taking effect um, ah, it has to be D block like this display block there we go and I think this is okay now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make these buttons into links like this instead And make sure that they all look all right, which they do. And um, the next one is I'm going to add a route called um, into the notifications route called destroy. And in the notifications controller, I'm going to add def destroy. I'm going to say notification notification dot find params ID notification destroy and I want to say um, I want to get rid of the notification in the view so here I'm gonna say respond to do format format dot turbo stream and I'm gonna say destroy, I'm gonna create a file called destroy turbo stream dot ERB. And here I'm gonna say uh, turbo stream dot remove. And um, I'm, all, I'm also gonna have to set these into something like, I'm gonna have to set these into turbo ID. I'm gonna say turbo frame DOM ID uh, notification dot ID and 
and then um, put the entire div inside like this and do the same for other divs as well. Open up the turbo frame dom id notification.id do put these inside and do the same here the, the final one here like this See what that looks like. And ah, it's turbo, uh, I think it's turbo frame tag. Hold on. Tur ah, it's turbo frame tag. Okay, so this, and it looks like something is pretty messed up. <laughs> So we will see what's going on. Oh, that's turbo frame tag dom ID. Ah, okay, it's supposed to be notification, not notification that ID. Now that will all render. And in the destroy turbo stream tag, I want to say. Get the uh, notification and I just remove it. There's no, there's nothing needed. We don't have to do a partial or anything. So now, actually now in the index, um, in these link twos, I want to say link to notification path, pass in the notification and the data tag is Turbo method delete like that. Now, if we hold on, ah, uh, whoops, has to be. We want to keep this empty and then we want to change the root path to notification path notification like this. Now, if we click this, it gets removed. Perfect. All right, that, that's actually exactly what I wanted. So if I click this, it gets removed as well. If I reload, the notification remove, remains uh, removed. That worked the first time, so that's, that's nice. Um, now, the last thing I wanna do is I wanna add um, a spec for the notifications request. Uh, so we'll say describe, delete, destroy. We'll say it deletes a record say uh, first we have to create a notification right and then I want to say expect delete um, notification well, I want to save this into a variable and I'll say notification path notification uh, and then I think there was um, we could pass in a certain header like this pass in this header like that and then to change right to change notification count y negative one and I want to run that spec and uh, it should pass Oh, well, Should, we probably haven't set up the uh, factory yet. Our user, read the verb, we say, um, to sample it. And that should pass. Now, oh, hold on. Cool. 
And now if we run the whole suite, the whole thing should pass as well, which it does. So, all right, all's good. Um, so this looks pretty good. Uh, so we are going to uh, leave it as is and we'll consider this notification system done. I mean, there's a little bit of refactoring we could do into partials, but I think that's pretty self-explanatory. So we'll leave that be and uh, we'll move on to the next thing. So uh, if you have been keeping up, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.